lessons.com. Today we're talking about how to make homemade instruments. And in previous videos, we've made lots of neat, whoops, neat little instruments. Shakers and a rain maker. And we even made a little kalimba. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta keep putting that in front of you. Here, let's put it over here. We made a little kalimba. Now the kalimba didn't work very well, but it gave me an idea. If we were to combine the little guitar, the little harp boxes that we made a minute ago with the kalimba idea, we might be able to make a neat instrument out of a shoe box. So I've got a, a shoe box here, and we're going to turn this into an instrument right, right now. What we're going to do is on the bottom of the box we're going to cut a sound hole. Now kids, make sure you have your parents help with this if you're too little. I'm actually going to use an X-Acto knife and I'm going to be careful with it and I'm going to cut a circle right now, okay? And when I cut this circle, I gotta make sure it's out enough, I'm just going to make as perfect of a circle as I can but it doesn't have to be perfect. absolutely perfect. You just really need a hole somewhere because this is going to be the body of the instrument. And this instrument is going to be a lot more like a guitar. Now, there's my hole right there. And the next thing I need are a couple popsicle sticks. These sticks are going to be what hold, actually I want to take this one off of here. Um, these sticks are going to be what the strings get held onto. And so how I'm going to put this aside for a minute. Yep, and we're going to make rubber bands. Now, we're going to be a little more precise than with our harp uh, boxes. And this is going to be a little bit more like the way a guitar works. So we're going to get a thick string. And we're going to get a string maybe that's a little bit thinner. You know, actually this one's thicker this way but this one's thicker this way so we'll try both of those we'll take um, maybe that one's a decent size and this is a good neck size down yeah that would work we'll put that in there and then we need some really thin ones this is pretty thin and one more thin one how about yeah that's a pretty good one okay now what we're going to do Ed, I'm, I'm going to hold these I want you to cut these for me Okay, there's one. Got a kalimba over here. Now, this little guitar is, we're gonna put our strings here and we're gonna stretch them across and they're gonna come up to here somewhere. Yep, so now let's make sure that all of our strings will actually stretch that far. This and, one does. And you check that one? Okay, let's check these then. That one will. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, can you go in the drawer and see? Okay, the first step, we're going to take our bobby sticks or, or craft, craft sticks and we're going to start putting our, our uh, rubber bands on it. Now you could glue these on if you wanted to, like maybe with rubber cement, but um, I'm just going to tie them on right now, like uh, I just take it and tie it on. No, i got to do it in order. So what you want to do is you're going to tie your sticks in order, starting with your thickest uh, rubber band, thanks buddy, and um, going all the way down to the thinnest one, okay? So there's one. And here's another, you know how a guitar has thick strings on one end and thin strings on the other, right? Mm -hmm. This is how, this is kind of what we're doing here. Tune it. Yeah, so you can tune it. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to tune Okay, you got that? Maybe you should have put something on the rack. Well, it won't matter because what we're getting ready to do is we're going to sandwich them right here onto this piece of wood. What we're going to do is we're going to tape the ends. It's alright, we might need it for something else. Here in a minute. 
So I'm going to take this side right here. I love these harp thingies. They're fun, huh? They're so cool. Okay, and then we're going to take this thing that we just made and we're going to tape it to the end of our guitar. Now, wait a minute. How we're going to do this is we're going to tape one end over here. Hopefully they can see that. One end. Want me to zoom in? No, no, it doesn't need to zoom in. Either. And one end on the other side. Now every instrument has to have a bridge or a saddle and it, that the strings go over, and I mean every string instrument, and it has to have a nut that the strings go on on the other end. So what we need to do for our bridge is we need to put a piece of wood over here so that it lifts it up off the soundboard a little bit. And this wood's kind of thin, so I'm going to take two pieces and put it together. And Gideon, can you cut us a piece of tape, a couple pieces of tape so we can tape these on now? One right here, on this side. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Just like this. Now, this is where it gets to be kind of fun. The other end of the string has to be tied onto this part of the of the guitar and um Which so, you're gonna stretch down here the table yeah but I don't a little instrument there. Now, if we really wanted to make this to where it would work, if we had a piece of wood up here and we wanted to get real fancy, we could make little tuners out of like maybe a little twisty screw or something. Like tie the, uh, yeah, and like tie, tie the other the end and you can crank them down like tighter. But what's neat about this is you can snap it. So it's kind of a percussion instrument, but you can also... So, have a great day from Take Lessons, and we will see you in the next video where we learn how to make an aircraft carrier out of a coconut aircraft. and twist ties and some bubblegum wrappers. What? Coconut wrappers.